Hey, welcome back everyone. You're watching VR Gamer Dude and I'm Don and today I, you know, guys, I, I pun completely intended. I can't wait to see what Shell Games has been cooking up, man. I you know, I, we're going to check out Lost Recipes and you know, for those of you who have been watching the channel for a long time, you may have caught a reference or two or, or seen a post on my social media. I, I like to cook. I, I love cooking. I obviously as you can see and you know, I, I love cooking for people, and, and I love trying to cook new and interesting dishes, so I can't wait to check this out. This is not some typical cooking sim. I mean, they've actually done some cultural research here, and and, and it's going to be, like, voice-guided by, like, actual people who would make these recipes. So, all right, as I said earlier, pun completely intended, I can't wait to see what Shell's cooking up in Lost Recipes. Let's go. Like cooking? Traveling? Ghosts? Join now. Oh, one slot left. I, I like cooking and definitely like traveling and well, I don't know if I like ghosts. I've never really met one, but can't be that bad, right? <gasps> a new volunteer? Oh, hey, you yeah. You cook for ghosts, I huh? do. Think you can learn a bunch of traditional recipes? Um, well, come over here. I don't we'll know about a bunch. I mean, but, you know, we'll, we'll try. So, okay, all right. Teleport to the ghost flame. Okay, so, um, I'm not going to rant. Teleport, seriously. Well it's done. 2022, I've got some guys. ghosts who'll be real excited to meet you and share their recipes. I think you'll have a lovely time. First, you need to learn how to get around the kitchen. Oh, I do. Once you're oriented, follow me. Okay, pull myself. Oh, oh, Lone Echo style. Okay, very cool. Don't hate on that. Okay. Yeah, you've got it. Now turn to your right. Okay, when you're ready, snap come over turning. Here and ring this bell. Well, once that again, not going to go on a rant, but hopefully we can turn that off in the menu system. So, standard interaction. That's what I like to see, fellow ghost chef. Now remember, cooking should be relaxing. I agree. Take your time and pay attention to the recipes. I will. Hmm. Speaking of which, where should we start you off? Ah, yes. Let's do ancient Greece. <laughs> oh, sweet. I do. I love BCE. Greece. There's an Athenian who wants to share what he used to make for the big festival called Panathenia. Roasting meats, honeyed wine. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Oh, man, girl, you ain't kidding. Have oh. fun out there. Mm. You're going to do great. I do love and remember, me some roasted there's meat. no rush. You've got all the time in the world. Do I? Do I really? Okay. If you say so. Calimera. Oh, this is perfect. I was hoping to get someone in time for the Panathenia. Now I'm here, well, man. Let's get you situated. Oh. I've got a lovely recipe I want you to try. Follow me. Okay. Now, Panathenia is our largest festival. Athletic games, music, and of course, good food. That's where you come in. We'll start off easy. A triad of staples. Grapes, grains, and olives. This recipe tablet should have everything you need to get started. Okay, very good. So, all right, so it looks like we've got the uh, interactive cutting board recipe tablet thing here. We've got our I little white flame guy it. here. He's going to talk us through lovely everything. This time so. of year, isn't it? All right, Fill so a mixing we'll... bowl about a third full with olive oil. Oh, olive oil. Prized among my people. No, literally, we've used it as prices. You win a chariot race during Panathenia, you get a hundred and forty on four A full of olive oil. Well, nice. I mean, you know, olive oil's not cheap, man. I, I mean, I'd be happy to get olive oil. Okay. Add to the marinade, one so, spoon of thyme and time. three spoons of rosemary. Okay, so let's get a little spoon of thyme here. And some parsley and sage here in a minute, I'm sure. Um, right. Add the olives and let them marinate. Okay, there we Perfect. go. Perfect. Now, those we need to marinate for a bit. Did you know green olives are just 
black olives that haven't had as much time to eat them. Oh, I did not know that, actually. Okay. Hey, where'd you oh, go, man? The tools and ingredients for making pita are over here. Oh, sweet. I love pita. Okay. Um, show me how. Um, I did add the olives. Okay, so, all In right. In the mortarium, use the pestle to grind Z and barley grains into flour. Okay. It should be a mix of Z grain. Oh, Z is another name for farrow. And barley will make a hearty pita. Oh, we want to make a healthy pita. Ground up right here, grinding my grains. All right. Oh, Add wait. a spoon of salt and oh. splashes of sourdough starter, water, oil, and milk. Okay, so I gotta say, I used to work at this place at in these um, ingredients. Austin, Texas, called the Brick Oven, and we actually made sourdough bread, and sourdough starter bread, is the most disgusting the thing you ever, we want. ever had to Take deal with. Take your measuring things out. We are in no rush. Alright, so did I, um, I need water and oil and milk. There we go. Oh, we got a no ball. The dough until it's around. Oh no, hey, don't then stay off the floor, bro. Round and smooth. Wonderful. That was my special. Oh, oh. I get that. No, uh, no. Hey, five second rule. Hey, oh, did I just eat the dough ball? Um. Hey, get bigger. Get bigger. Don't worry about speed. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Well, you know. Um, we're cool. Like, nobody saw it. It didn't happen. Fresh charcoal we light if added to the old coals in the oven. Okay. So, gotta get me some charcoal here. There we go. Fire it up. Get me a good fire going here. Alright. Oh, now we gotta go get some dough splitting going on. So, you know, and, and like I've worked in so many Italian kitchens, and I know this isn't Italian, but I mean, working with dough. Looks like the oven is hot enough to start baking some pizzas. Work with dough balls a lot. So, alright. That's starting to look like a pita. Um, it is starting to look like a pita. And close the door. Good. Let's let that bake. How are the olives coming along? Uh, let's go see. Uh, how are our olives doing here? Um, uh, Pour off the marinade and put the olives in a small bowl. Remember to serve the grapes too. You get back over are here. you a fan of green olives or black olives? Um, I, you know, I, I'm personally a fan of black olives. The okay. pitas are done when they are golden brown. The pita smells perfect. Mm. Quick, don't let it burn. There we go. I'm gonna plate them pitas. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. What a wonderfully simple recipe, but so nutritious, don't you think? Um, I do. I, I think I think it's wonderful, and and I I, I definitely w would like to try to uh, make this recipe, sir. So, um, okay. So I got my pita, I got my soap, and Let's ring that bell. Shall we? Nyabuka. Rise, rise! I say. Did I win? Oh, nasty mo. That was pretty nasty. Good. Did you say it was nasty mo? Last nasty bro? What? Ah, nice. Four stars. Looks like you've got the basics down. Sweet. How about it? Want to try another recipe?
No, I think I think we're gonna go ahead and stop here because uh, I mean I think everybody gets the gist of this after just doing that first round, and we don't want to make the video too long. But man, I gotta tell you, I am digging this. Th this is like completely chill, and you know, I mean, in a way, I, if I had those ingredients now, I think I could probably make that recipe. It was very simple. So I, I gotta tell you, I if you are like me and you like to explore different recipes and different things to cook you might give lost recipes a look this might be something you could actually find some cool stuff to make yourself but for me that's gonna do it tonight guys thank you so much for coming by the channel to see what i do here and if this was your first time coming by you know i say it all the time but thank you so much i you guys it that's that's what grows my channel and you know what also grows my channel is is if you liked it enough to hit that subscribe and ring the bell for me um and uh you know like it and share it so anyway if you did all that stuff already guys thank you so much we are growing again i know things are still spurty i'm getting back at it got a new job things are finally starting to get back to normal maybe hopefully here within the next month uh, content's gonna be flowing again so anyway until then i'll see you on the flip side this is don signing off <laughs>